Few public figures have done more to bring the world of exotic animals into our homes than the late TV conservationist Steve Irwin. It's a mission, Seth Doan tells us, that his family pursues to this day. This family has always worked from home. Awesome. How cool is that? Even before lockdowns. But there's no shortage of space or things to do. What with 700 acres and 1,200 animals. <laughs> that was awesome! This is not your typical family business to take over. It is. It is pretty wild. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> we yeah. love it. You never and know what, to, what the day is going to bring, that's for sure. Mm. Australia Zoo is not just home, but life mission of the Irwin family. Mom Terry, her kids 17-year-old Robert and 23-year-old Bindi, and Bindi's husband, Chandler. We have been incredibly grateful that we've been given this unique opportunity to be able to do what we love, which is cuddle animals all day, but then also take it to a new level of educating people on how to make a difference in the world. Their surname was made famous and synonymous with animals by this man, Steve Irwin. Crikey. He was the energetic TV conservationist who seemed to almost jump through the screen. Terry, as an American tourist visiting his zoo, first spotted her husband-to-be wrangling a crocodile, his signature. Their adventures together never slowed. You know, if there was a whale stranding in Tasmania, he'd be like, we're leaving in an hour, we're going to film for three weeks, and we got to tell this story. Steve told those stories until 2006, when he was killed by a stingray in a freak accident. Bindi, just eight, but already comfortable in the spotlight, spoke at his memorial service. I don't want Daddy's passion to ever end. I want to help endangered wildlife just like he did. Eulogizing her dad, capturing hearts, and since then, continuing what he started. It's so good to see you. How often do you think about Steve? Oh my goodness. Every day, every minute of every day, it's almost like every day is a tribute to his life. Was there ever any doubt that this was going to be your life's work? Did you ever think of being in insurance or a lawyer or something else? No, I think for both of us, we've always just had such a huge passion for wildlife and for conservation. I remember the first time we ever got to feed a croc, Bindi was 10 years old, and then when I turned 10 a few years later, it was the, the rite of passage for me. Because that's know, you, good parenting. Exactly. Their TV show, Crikey, It's the Irwins on Animal Planet, chronicles their efforts to educate and expose people to the wonders of the animal world. Through your work, you talk about trying to create this connection between people and animals. But how do you find that balance? They are still wild animals. The respectful and responsible appreciation for wildlife through tourism is really what's going to save us. Is that some watermelon? Their message is resonating. Bindi not only has nearly 5 million Instagram followers, but this. Yay, oh, Bindi amazing. Barbie! Yes, there's a Bindi Barbie doll. Good on Barbie for, for standing up for wildlife conservation. It's serious work that funds a wildlife hospital they opened in 2004. In that first year, they treated 64 animals. Now they'll see more than that every single day. Robert showed us around via video chat. Uh, it's kind of the, the, the daily work that happens here at the Australia Zoo Wildlife Hospital. That's a koala on the operating table. The habitat for koalas are dwindling and they're kind of isolated to smaller islands. And at this point, disease spreads very, very fast. The hospital was inundated during the devastating bushfires last year, which burned more than 20% of Australia's forests and killed as many as 3 billion, yes, billion animals. But then on top of that, it's this huge knock-on effect that we're gonna feel for decades to come. Uh, for so many species, they rely on these beautiful large areas of natural habitat. 
Then the pandemic brought another challenge, keeping all of this going without visitors, their main source of revenue, and some very big bills. Just the animal food was $80,000 a week. They finally reopened after 78 days. G'day, how's it going? I was yeah. shocked by how much our animals missed oh, everybody. Our animals were just as excited to see everyone back at Australia Zoo yeah. as we were. The koalas were basically jumping out of the trees <laughs> to see us. Chandler Powell married into the family last year after a pitch-perfect courtship, which, no surprise, involved a crocodile. Go! I knew that that was the man I was going to marry. <laughs> their engagement and wedding were all documented on their show. And their baby girl, Grace Warrior, was born in March. She already has some sort of little safari shirt. She does. She does. She has yeah. her very own khaki because we always say that khaki is not just a color. It's an attitude. It's not your typical family business, but it's my favorite line of work. The Irwins are carrying on Steve's legacy and apparently inherited his affinity for having so much of their lives broadcast hoping their love of animals might just inspire yours.